All right, guys, welcome to another quarantine episode of uh, the Off Balance Podcast. I'm joined by the usual uh, duo, Kazagarami, with a physical tree in his hand, and uh, Val at home, obviously. How are you doing, buddy? Excellent. Yeah. How are you doing, man? How's it? I'm good, too, man. Uh, especially today, I don't know. I have good energy. I had some uh, not the best days. A couple of days ago, I, I thought, like, you know, like just realizing what's hitting us. And I was like, oh, fuck, this is long. But, you know, it's just part of the game, I guess. How about you, Taz? How are you feeling? Good, man. Uh, I mean, been been doing been doing whatever activity I can can I can do. I mean, uh, outside the house. Uh, What are you been, doing? I've been doing a lot of, man, surprisingly, I, I uh, before starting BJJ, I did a lot of striking, right? I did striking for about... Yeah, that's true. You were boxing, right? Boxing, but then before boxing, I did... Uh, Muay Thai. I did Muay Thai with Peter. You know, crazy master Peter. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. For uh, guy, for those of you, yeah, for those of you guys who don't know Master Peter, I think you can probably put Master Peter try it on you. You'll get a an idea of it. <laughs> He's crazy. So, bro, I've been just shadow boxing, kicking. You know, running, doing a lot of like sprint running. That's so cool. Like, so in uh, terms of so you're doing active, that. Yeah, in terms of staying active, it's been good. Productivity-wise, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn something new every day, jujitsu-related, nice. and then I don't know, man. I'm I'm getting into YouTube a bit. I'm trying to, guys. By the way, I've been working on my YouTube channel a bit. I saw that I'm on to, Facebook. You've been uh, I'm, unleashing some stuff on YouTube. So I mean, listen, it's it's uh, you know we had an episode with the Goodsy last time, right? And. Yeah. He was like, you know, you need to learn kind of every step a bit. You need to know a bit how it works. And, you know, it's something that why not learn it now? You know, there's 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 time to do it. So, you know, I'm getting into that. It is the right time right now. Obviously. Yeah. You can learn a lot, I guess, uh, with the amount of time we'll have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about you, Val? <laughs> I'll be a black belt at this thing, man. I'll have a exactly. freaking subscribe <laughs> list bigger than, than ESPN, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> For me, as, as always, uh, the positive side is uh, I get to spend a lot of time and a lot of free time with uh, with the family. Uh, also, great. try to stay active, uh, work out a little bit uh, every day. Uh, we started. Are the... you guys still uh, going to the gym? Sometimes, not that often. Now I have uh, I brought some mass uh, home. I want to avoid uh, traveling as much as I can. Since we live in apartment building, still we have to take uh, the elevator and everything. So. Just uh, trying to uh, to stay uh, offline as po uh, much as possible, mm -hmm. but uh, still we go out from time to time. Uh, we started the skateboard uh, skateboarding season already early. This yeah, year, which is that's nice. cool. Yeah, the whole family skateboards or yeah. Oh damn, that, that's that's crazy. That's nice. Um, that's yeah, and and we had a, like such a nice day. I think Friday. Uh, I went to the park for a couple of hours, like. Just like move around, it was like it was perfect. Spring is coming. Uh, that's that's one thing that's not stopping is spring right now. Uh, so Taza, you're doing your workout like at, at the park next to you to your house, or yeah, I'm mixing it up. You know, some days I'm I'm running. I'm doing a lot of sprints, interval work. Uh, I'll do a beep test once a week. I'll do like uh, intervals, kind of like the kind of training I do like when I used to play uh, football. Nice. so it's good it's good cardio i'm getting good cardio obviously i'm doing a lot of pull-ups at uh, the park the swings i'm doing a lot of l-sit pull-ups keeping the core strong um and then you know some other days i'll be like doing workouts home like single leg stuff like pistols uh side lunges lunges turkish get-ups hey whatever you can do you know just stay in uh, trying to use whatever you have available Yeah, I saw and, uh, you. Uh, you posted a video of uh, like the perfect Turkish getup, right? <laughs> yeah, YouTube. and the the perfect. <laughs> I messed up. I messed up the thumbnail. The thumbnail is what on YouTube, man. There's so many things. It's insane. Like, you're, you know what? You have to have your face like this. Like, your face like, has to be like this, yeah. and, and it, it has to be like, like a, the perfect. Turkish get up and you need like color <laughs> yeah for those of you who are listening to this please go on YouTube and just see like the stupid faces we're doing right now um, sounds a favorite so well that's that's good you're learning you're learning the skill of like uh, like on YouTube how to market yourself basically I mean it's it's something I feel like it's fun I also enjoy it 
But you know what I was going to say is like whenever you're learning something, you see patterns in in things, right? Like uh, yeah, like you can you can compare that to something else you're doing, like jujitsu, for example, and you could like see like similarities. You know, like at first it's super annoying and hard, but then once you start to pick it up, you start to become better at this, better at that. You start to prefer this. It, so it's like there's always that first part that sucks, but once you get through it, slowly but surely, you start to enjoy it more. You start to understand it more. I don't know. Yeah, For sure. I, I agree. I think it's one of the biggest uh, kind of benefits of uh, jujitsu uh, that I got for for myself at some point. Is that every everything you start, you have to go through this uh, period uh, of adjustment. And yeah. I think yeah, mo sure. mo most of the people that's where they quit. That's oh, true. For sure. Like, like when you start jiu-jitsu, you just get wrecked like yeah. every single like minute of your life. <laughs> so a lot of people like they can't fucking take that. But then after, once you see, oh, I can actually get good at that, then you pick up any other skill. It could be anything like playing the guitar, uh, going on YouTube and, and making like videos like that's what you're doing or, or anything. But then you have that mentality of, I know it sucks for now, but I'm going to get better at at some point right yeah and dude honestly here's the thing like i the things that you learn like it, the other thing that i noticed like from learning one thing to another is things you just don't see there are things you don't see whether it's in jiu-jitsu whether it's in the things you learn to market or it's in the things you learn in business there are things you don't see when somebody points them out then you see them so much better you know like it just sticks out so clear so it's crazy right so that's, that's another thing. That's like yeah. the, the beginner mindset. Yeah, all like, over again. So I, I feel like from that, I was able to, I mean, I'm benefiting a bit from it. Because listen, once the virus goes, these skills, they, they stay. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So is that like your plan right now? Like, Because we know it's probably going to uh, be on for, for a while, right? Um, mm -hmm. Seeing what's happening right now. There's like, as we know, every single day, there's new measure, new measure, nonstop. Like, yeah. um, we're hoping that it's not going to happen, but they, they, they might close like, the neighborhood in Montreal. Who knows? You know, like yeah. they're almost at that point, you know? Neighborhood. So, yeah, like not being able to transit more than like, let's say, uh, like you go for a run, it has to be around like your house or something like that. It can be like oh. too too far away. Um, so oh, it's wild. it's not on yet. So I'm not making fake news right now, but like they're 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 talking about it. They're they're saying it could happen if it keeps spreading, right? Which is kind of happening right now. So um, I don't even know where I was going with that idea, but oh yeah, yeah. the fact that it's it's gonna last a, like a, a long time, like you you kind of have the time to pick up like that skill right mm -hmm. now. Definitely, um, man. Definitely. I mean, I feel like c certain people like all right. So here's another thing. That, you know, like two weeks ago, I was like, all right, in two weeks, I'm going to start training, whatever. And then now it's like, oh, you know, you're second guessing it. You're not too sure you want to do it. You don't think it's a good idea. And then you kind of like on the fence. Right. But I mean, certain people are home stuck with, you know, somebody they can train with, with mats. And I feel like just giving them anything they could use just to, you know, have some any kind of positive impact on their days. I think it's worth it. So, yeah, I'm going to keep doing it even though it's not something that's going to bring me a lot of money, but, you know, people enjoy it. I get good feedback from it and uh, whatever. It's something that I'm enjoying. You know, first two years of jujitsu, I was spending and spending and I didn't see a single dollar, but you still go through it. Right. So whatever, do the thing for the right reasons. And then, you know, you'll see the benefits down the line. Right. Yeah. And I feel it's like, like anything, you know, you do it because you, you want to do it and because it's right at the moment. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's like, if, let's say it brings you money in a year or two or three good for yeah. you. But at the, at the, at the beginning, that's not why you're doing it. Um, definitely not. That's definitely like, not. uh, There's that. yeah, you have time to do it right now anyway. So it's not like you're like, you're losing your time doing it. There's nothing else to do anyway. Like you pick up something and you do it. Um, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Are, are you still working? Val? Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm lucky slash unlucky. So I can't take it. Yeah, this, this time is a real uh, vacation, but I'm lucky that I have my uh, my bills covered and all of this. Uh, so I have yeah, my definitely. IT uh, IT job still. Okay, that's, oh, that's, that's awesome. That's good. Yeah, like a lot of people are definitely in trouble right now because of what's happening. I think I was seeing like the numbers for unemployment like filed in in Canada. It's like and in the U.S. obviously that are 
they're getting hit pretty hard, but it's like insane, you know? So, um, good for you, man. And anyway, you have more time right now. Are you trying to learn something new besides gaming? Uh, mostly gaming. Yeah. How to... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's when, that's your breeding time. Yeah, exactly. I feel it's crazy how bad it is in the U.S., man. In the U.S., it's just insane. Yeah. The numbers, holy crap. Yeah, there, there are over 100,000 cases, I believe, right now, right? Or something like that. Yeah. Um, New York is is completely fucked. Actually, uh, Trump, uh, President Trump yesterday, I think he was saying, like, uh, oh, uh, on Twitter, he, he tweeted, like, um, I might, like, go over and quarantine, like, New York completely. He said, I'm, I'm going to give more info later. And then later on, he said, we're, we're still going to wait. But I feel it's coming, man. Like, the, the city itself is just... I always wonder, with, with these numbers, uh, I always wonder if it's uh, the quality of testing. And the fact that other regions are not testing as well. Uh, I understand that New York City is densely populated. But I think there are other big cities that are not just testing and not getting the same results at the same time. No, for sure. Like it goes with the testing, right? If if they're if they're testing and it takes like like here in Quebec, at first it was taking like seven days almost to get a test, or five or seven days. So, so we're like, oh, there's not much case, and now it's like exploding a bit more. Yeah, um, now we. I so, think uh, by registered cases, uh, Quebec bypassed every other province in, in Canada. Yeah, yeah, it's the one with the most uh, cases right now. But maybe our testing is just better than other provinces. It's, so it's hard to say. That's what I mean. So, like, the better the testing is, the quicker you can find out if you're sick or not. The earlier you can decide whether you stay home or you can go go about with your life. You know what I mean? Because, exactly. like, for how long are you going to keep everybody home doing nothing? You know what I mean? Like, it's so many people I, I are going to get fucked, a, you know? A lot of people are, like, what you're saying is so true. Because a lot of people are pointing out, like, to uh, the officials and they're saying, like, look at what South Korea and Japan did. They're testing like so quick. They know that people are, are like um, infected. They like they put them in quarantine. They treat them. They like they make sure these people are right away like um, profiled. Let's say, but here mm -hmm. it's like it took, and especially in the America, but like it took more time to test, and it's taking more time. So I feel like for the people that are not sick or the people that could like be working or whatever, like you're stuck at home. We're all in this together, but at the same time, it's like you expect maybe, okay, like you guys need to find a way to test like faster and quicker. What is it that they were saying about like uh, the, you know, the like a drive through testing they're doing? They, they, um, they reject like 90% of them and they don't test them. But wouldn't it take a couple of seconds just to stick something up somebody's nose and then like test it? I don't know. That's not the time, like uh, uh, sticking something up the nose. Uh, they have to actually analyze and do the test after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know they're gonna do something with it after, but I mean, like, why, why, why tell people to to leave when they can just take that whatever sample? You know what I mean? I, um, I would say I don't. I'm, off, like, obviously, I'm not. I'm not an expert, but I would say like probably the testing is actually quite expensive still, and they don't have maybe the best test right now, so they don't want to just like gather all the the testing, which is kind of crazy in my opinion too. I, I feel like you should like test everyone that thinks that they might have it and just like like have more cases that says no or yes what exactly. do you think about yeah my hope is just uh they they, they consider this and uh, they looked at the capacity they have just uh, the whole logistics of the collecting the samples uh marking them it, it's somebody's job right so it's it's not gonna just uh, go from the car right away uh, to the shelf, so it, it should be tagged or whatever it is. You know, there there is a bunch of work yeah. uh, that has to be done around it. They should have a test, all right. That's how easy it should be. They should have a test. To... <laughs> no, sorry, you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> should have a test. They stick it up your nose. They take it out. They dry it up. It goes red if you have it or blue if you don't. And then you should. Like, right, you're good to go. Boom. If you're That's, not good to go, I, boom. I think. It, it, it... Like, Science. <laughs> I think this is gonna be it. The, <laughs> from what I hear, that's gonna be the case if uh, we, we we survive this uh, the whole situation for long enough. So we, let's say in a year or two, 
if COVID is uh, and probably the coronavirus of this type is going to travel around the globe for, for, for some time, it's not going to be just awesome. uh, don't, don't, so, don't talk about a year or two, please. <laughs> please don't. But in a year or two, uh, uh, what I hear is people saying is going to happen, we will have treatments. We'll have quick tests like this. So you, you stick it whatever, wherever you need to stick it, and it comes out with a result right away or something like this. So it's going to be in home, yeah. Uh, and you'll have treatments. You'll have uh, tested uh, solutions for the you know, like cure for, for for the disease. You will have uh, probably uh, prevention mechanisms and so on. Obviously, the science around the disease is going to get better in one year. Awesome, of course, that's good news. Yeah. It's so brand new. You know how bad this is? It's like jujitsu guys are talking about science now. <laughs> that's how that's how bad it got. Yeah, yeah. We have to when we have to, you know, take take care of business for the scientists. That's that's when you know, you know, jujitsu saved the world. Yeah, put it up, put it up your ass. Just put it up, up his nose, man. Just sniff it or something. Oh. <laughs> um, oh. So here's here's my my uh, where I am at right now. Like so, Po, you and I, we've been home two weeks, right? Yeah, it's 14 days today, actually, that we came back from Dallas. Yeah, so, so what's we, the deal, man? What do you think we should do? What What's the right thing to do? Uh, can you just repeat your question? I had a little bug right there. I said, what do you think would be the right thing to do right now? 14 days. Uh, about what? Like uh, about, about training. About training. Um, it's hard to say. Like, like obviously... Like you don't want to train with like a ton of people right now and gyms are closed. So that's a number one. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, like for training jujitsu wise, the only way I can see that like possible would be, let's say me and you, we would gather together, not as a group, as two people and get on mats, like let's say in a house at your house or my house or whatever. And then mm -hmm. we could probably drill, but I, I don't feel like, Training with other people right now is a good idea. Obviously, like yeah, uh, because we're right in the midst of it, and uh, the more people, the more there's like chance of those people have been in contact with like other people, and then their family, and it's exponential, right? But let's mm -hmm. say me and you, we know like we stayed home for the 14 days. We know who we've been in contact with, uh, which is your like your family, me, my girlfriend, let's say, um, mm -hmm. and there's no symptoms. I feel like we could train together. That's mm -hmm. something I feel like. Um, as far as like having group training, I don't think it's safe right now. Obviously. No, me what do you think, Val? Yeah, we kind of touched on this uh, offline a little bit, but it, it, to be honest, like uh, you can uh, let your paranoia uh, go far uh, with this. And, uh, oh yeah, it, it has a reason. So uh, let's say. Just uh, for the sake of the argument, uh, you guys are training together, but you're living in your uh, like your respective homes, you know, with your families mm -hmm. and so on. So let's say Pio catches it uh, by go walking to the groceries, you train together, and then uh, Oliver, your parents get infected, and uh, hopefully it's going to be mild symptoms, but if not, let's say. So was this training worth it at the end? No, no, for sure. Uh, Absolutely so that's, so, that's uh, the argument of, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So the, I think the, the, the safest answer for, for jujitsu, like uh, addicts as us is, uh, if we, you have a body uh, that you live with, then you kind of self isolate and train together. So let's say if you guys decide to move in and, uh, just stick together, don't see other people and chain, that's completely all right. I guess you, you're not uh, putting anybody else at risk, but that's a good point. That's a very good point. Yeah, no, that's I hear you. I think that that makes a lot more sense. You know what that means, Pio? No. <laughs> Time for some spooning action. I'm moving in, brother. <laughs> You'll live on the mats. You can you can take get you some the next door on the mats. Um, that's called Val. What I was about to say. That's called uh, what they call right now probalis. Uh, probabilistic murder or something like that exactly yeah so it's like uh you <laughs> because you you went with someone else and that they might have been in contact and then they give it to someone else and that person died it's your fault but it's a bit crazy in that regard um and we we're talking about like uh 
I kind of agree with you at the same time. It's like you got to ask yourself the question uh, at what point you're willing to not necessarily, I wouldn't say risk it, but like, like to cut your freedom completely uh, for what's happening or not. So th this is like a, this is a good question to ask yourself, like uh, as a person uh, in that regard, I say like, obviously like group training are dangerous. Like, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw Tom the blast and Gordon post a training picture. They got slashed yeah, that's, online. That's, that's just, that's just plain stupid, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, but absolutely. Like, uh, you don't do that, man. Like it's, Especially if you're in Jersey and New York, the two dirtiest, one two dirtiest states, and isn't isn't that what the case? Like the, the well, two New York is the worst right now, yeah. Worse, yeah. and then Jersey second. So like, you perfect. See that they bring in uh, between both. Yeah, at the same time, you see uh, how they bring in refrigerated trucks to uh, store the bodies instead of morgue, and you see those uh, medical workers uh, struggling to keep up with the load and everything. Uh, I don't think it's uh, two pictures uh, match well together. You know? Yeah. No, and uh, uh, for me, the biggest problem was like, look, they're all adults. They do whatever the fuck they want. Uh, but if you're going to do that, just don't post it online. You know what I mean? Just like, don't let everyone know that you're like, you're basically fucking up you're doing something that's not supposed like that the state is saying it's not it's right it's not right about now. this as, as well you're setting an example so there, there are people who are tuned in you know for for a lot of uh, jiu jitsu players I'm, I'm sure gordon is a role model right uh, oh yeah so if this guy trains and uh, posts pictures with uh, his friends i'm gonna do the same too like i'm gonna call up my friends we're gonna go and start uh, training back you know mm, yeah no i hear you it's definitely not not a good time to to be playing with that kind of fire. Yeah, it's definitely definitely tough right now. Um, those are all good questions, though. It's like you got to think about it. It's just like, yeah. Another, at the same time, it's like, was that? Sorry. Uh, another argument that I've had uh, against this, and I'm only advocating against uh, uh, group trainings for now. You know, uh, is it? Like we are totally addicted to jujitsu, you know, and uh, we try to make our lives uh, living off uh, of jujitsu or doing something around jujitsu. But to be honest, uh, it's not an essential uh, service. It's not an essential thing for. No, of course not. And um, I think we can put it on hold for some time, you know, for greater good. Yeah, yeah, of I, course, it's not part of the uh, essential services like health and, and uh, like obviously shopping, like grocery stores and stuff like that. What were you about mm -hmm. to say, Taza? No, I mean, it's, it's by essential, obviously, it's not like what's going to make us survive or die. Um, it's just like the people's people's morale, you know, starts to starts to take a hit. I don't know, after a certain time, but I, I guess it's. You gotta live with it, right? There's no not much of a not much of a yeah. When, uh, we're not in the alternative. worst spot, to be honest. Yeah, no, not really. Yeah. Oh no, for sure. We're not. not taking like uh, twenty four hour shifts uh, and seeing people die. You know. Yeah, no, there's definitely no for sure. There's there's there's, worse out there. there is worse out there. I'm just trying to think of a solution. Like obviously, one of the solution I have is like. Uh, I'm still training every day, like like uh, Taza was saying. He's, he's switching up his training. I'm personally, I'm doing a lot of like, yeah, I got a pull up bar now. I'm doing like kettlebells and and like some weightlifting, and I have my bike too. Um, but even then, like like you're bike riding outside, and if you're more than like three people, people are looking at you like you're insane, like you're yeah. you're uh, assembling with other people on your bike outdoor, and you're like probably spreading the vir virus. Uh, which I think is like that's one of the problem right now, and and um, I might be diverting a bit on this off the subject, but that's something I was thinking about is like how the people are reacting now. There's like so much um, suspicion right now in society. I feel off of it. Uh, people are like um, suspicious about like if you're more than two or three uh, outdoor. Exactly. Uh, I don't know if you guys like realized it by being outdoor or seeing it a bit. I kind of feel the same because uh, I, I have a family of four. So if we go yep. out and we're not going to the store, we're keeping the distance and all of this, but you know, we, we need to walk the dog. 
we need to to walk the kids out too. Uh, of course and we're keeping it sa completely safe we're keeping distance and all of this but i uh, i catch uh, glances as well but i think it comes oh, yeah, down sure. to like the culture of uh, judging you know uh, as well mm -hmm. and now the everybody's under a lot of stress so it's, uh, it comes out a little easier oh yeah we we've been seeing some we've been seeing a lot of back and forth on social media between uh between people who have been quiet, I feel like people need to channel that energy somehow. So, you know, now it's behind keyboards, it's behind, Unfortunately. Uh, behind screens. So expect a lot of wilderness on the internet, my friends. Yeah, definitely. But I was, I was like in shock. Like usually it wouldn't bother me, you know, if like you, you glance at me and you're like maybe judging about something doesn't really matter. But I'd say we we're stopping. I was biking. I did my first bike ride the other day. Like I did the long bike ride. It was really fun. The outside, nice day. But I was with some friends. But like obviously we're we're on bike. We're not like next to each other, fucking spinning in our face. You know, we're still like distancing. But we would stop at some places, and even when we would stop, we'd be in a certain distance. But people would like see us either by car or walking, and it would look at us like. Like we're we're the demon itself, you know. <laughs> so I was like, "All right, I I don't like to see that." It, it's it feels there's so much like news or 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 stuff going on that people are like getting a bit mad about it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's, it's unfortunate. Best keep, yeah, best to keep it small, I guess, man. For now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, a lot of runners out there nowadays, my friend. People are becoming oh, runners. I've yeah, everybody's a runner now. Everybody's running now, man. What the hell? I'm looking yeah. like, dude, you, you you, can tell. You're looking out. You can tell, okay, this guy's a runner. This guy's the third time he runs in his life. Dude, I've been seeing some people with the weirdest, like, come on, man. Limping. Yeah, it's like the weirdest way of running, like a robot, super robotic, like, yeah. like, like I don't know, man. It's, I no, saw somebody run was, with boots. It was like, I was like, okay, you're definitely sure. not a runner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I so, I can't run for shit, so I'm sticking to cycling because I I'm a horrible runner, and even with a the apocalypse, I'm not gonna run. I don't care, dude. I'm telling you, if you sprint, it won't be as bad on your hips. It won't be as yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sprinting is actually good. Like sprinting, I can do because it's like short and like in a burst and like, but uh, I I mean like endurance uh, running I, that I can do. Forget. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. forget it. I'm not doing these long runs. Like, Oh, you're not. Listen, so you're, you're mainly sprinting. Yeah. I, I listen, man, here's the thing for me. I want like, I want to have a certain amount of damage I'll do to my body when doing a workout for a certain amount of reward, right? Reward. Yeah. So the long distance, the reward I'm going to get versus the amount of damage I'm going to put my, my body through, it just doesn't translate to jujitsu. Whereas if I'm sprinting, like that translate to, you know, VO2 max, that translate to wrestling, that translate to strong legs, you know, that translates to, um, you know, the, the ability to recover fast after a yeah, having your heart rate go up and then go down faster. Yeah. yeah I've been Definitely. doing a lot of that. I've been doing a lot of that, like sprinting, cutting a corner, coming back, taking like 10 seconds, like 2010, 2010, but running, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know what? Every week I check my, I check my beep test and it's been going up. So, oh yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, my cardio is actually getting better while sitting on my ass 99.9% .9 of the day. So <laughs> it's peak. I like it. Yeah, peaking it. <laughs> peaking it. Uh, uh, so I've been going back in time with a lot of things, man. You're just sitting home, seeing your old stuff. And I yeah. got caught here like in Montreal with the fam. So it was like stuff from like 10, 15 years ago. You just go through things and like traveling back in time. So, you know, uh, that's, that's some there's some good stuff out of it, you know, like you have time, like you said, for other things and like, uh, putting your, your mind and time into other projects or like some like stuff that might not be useful, but that can be fun to do. Like you said, like just catching back on like years of stuff you've been doing. Yeah, reading, um, reading. I didn't have time to read you know, for a long time. Like I was, uh, oh, well. definitely learning uh, a lot and trying to read, uh, Small bits on something I was learning, but what are you reading? Fiction. Right I forgot the book actually is the name, but it was hey. like, uh, yes. I, I, I went uh, on Goodreads, and I haven't been reading science fiction. I think uh, for the last twenty years or so. Holy uh, shit! And I was big into science fiction back in time. I couldn't yeah, like, welcome I, back. Yeah, and I, I took I picked up the the book from the top of the list. 
Recursion. I think the name is a uh, recursion. And it's pretty good. Nice. good. Yeah. Once you have the name, send it to me because I love science fiction. No, so that's it, what I read great, usually great, yeah. on the side. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll check it because I have. I'm reading like some philosophy book right now, but it's um, that's more like a, a read you have to do over time, and it takes time, right? So I, I need something before bed, you know, just to pass out. Science fiction is a good one, usually. Guys, <laughs> um, are you reading? No. <laughs> I have a stack of books actually right next to yeah, like I'm not reading read a lot. Yeah, no, I do listen. I uh, I know how to I still remember how to read, but here's the <laughs> sure. thing. Like I I have a stack of books and then I like to go through the same books to be honest. There are like certain uh set of things that I picked up from certain books that I still like keep like practicing or like uh, you know follow like certain rules. So I like to go through them and then it reminds me certain things. So new books, not as much. Rereading old good books, yeah, I'll still I'll still do that. So like I'll fly through, you know, a book oh, like good. in like a couple of minutes, just go through the chapters, read like the first last paragraph, and you know, you can get like a know. good yeah, a little reminder. There's a really good book actually that um, I ran through not not too long ago. And I think this book can apply to pretty much any conversation you're having or anything, anything in life. It's called uh Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. What, what's it about? And it's about negotiating, negotiations. Yeah, I heard about mm. it. Yeah. Yo, it's a really good book. That guy used to work with the, uh, with the FBI, right? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. Whenever, whenever they had somebody like, uh, like a hostage and they wanted like uh, exchange money for the hostage, like he'd be the one talking to, the, to like the criminals and like getting them to, you know, give the, the hostages back. No, it's pretty sick, man. Check it out, Chris. You can't Voss. fuck up too. Yeah, you can't fuck up too much. <laughs> what do you when mean? There's a gun involved. <laughs> yeah, so it's a pretty good book. Yeah. I highly recommend it. Never split the uh, difference, and, and then I'll, it's, it's. I'll actually check it out too. Yeah, check it out. He's got he's got a uh, he did a what's it called an episode on. Um, there's this thing called London Real TV. It's like a it's like a platform where they have like yeah, the yeah. interview circuit. And then he's on it, so you can listen to it on YouTube. I think there's a, a good part of it. It's free on YouTube. Uh, if you if you if you write his name down and you listen to it, and then listen, just little things when you like when you uh, formulate your questions, or you know when somebody's done talking, you say certain things that you can see it makes a little difference. So uh, yeah, I highly recommend that book. Interesting. Yeah, Thanks, man. I'll actually check, check, check it out. Yeah. Um, check it out. Have you have you guys been uh, watching Jiu Jitsu a lot? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's always, I always go and watch ADCC yeah. matches, man. I go back to YouTube, I go back to flow grappling, and yeah, I play some uh, Tony Wangaka a lot. Oh, uh, nice, Gi. yeah, yeah. Langaker is uh, but he's a monster, he's a he's a finisher too. I, I like his style actually. Um, I don't watch a lot of Gi, but like in the Gi, I would say like him and Mergali are so much fun to watch because they. They finish people. That's good. They, I've have, been watching they have a pretty good. similar game too. Like they, they do a lot yeah. of things similar, like uh, with the collar sleeve, with the yep. you know the upper body submissions, the inversions into their uh, what's it called? Tommy plays a lot with the uh, what's it called? Yeah, that matrix, that back takes sick man. They play around with that. So hard to get out of. Yeah, uh, they're they're nice to watch. Actually, me, I've been watching like you guys, mostly ADCC, a couple of. Old ADCC too. I've been rewatching like Kron's matches from before because I fell on some videos. So, um, but like I, I would say, like the first week I wasn't really watching Jiu Jitsu. I was kind of in the in the moment of like we're supposed to compete and then we're in quarantine and now I was like fuck this shit. I like I, I almost hated Jiu Jitsu for a week because I couldn't do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But okay. then uh, yeah, it happens sometimes. You know, like uh, when it doesn't necessarily go your way at that moment. But now yeah. I've been I've been back on like watching tape and and uh, just trying to pick up a thing or, or two here and there. Even know? wrestling. You guys know that uh, you've been watching actually, wrestling. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Go ahead, Sorry, Val. What, Val. As we speak, there is a live event actually, a jiu jitsu event, submission oh, on the yeah, ground. Oh yeah, yeah, Craig Jones, right? Yeah, yeah. Craig is on the card. It's pretty. Uh, it's eight, it's, eight ma- I tuned in and it's uh, it's sad to see. <laughs> It's an empty, uh, <laughs> empty space. Uh, yeah, it's not the same, man. It's not the same. It had to it's be expected, the, though. 
Like I'm, I'm surprised it actually went on. Where is it in Portland or something like that too? The It's show like, must go on. <laughs> We must keep. No, dude, nobody cares. Like, who's watching this? We're literally doing a podcast right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not you watching. I mean? It's not like the most exciting matches. So, what are you doing? You know, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, especially like Craig's gonna like go through Kevin Casey. Like, like not even a question. Like yeah. for most people, the first question is, who the fuck is Kevin Casey? <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> yeah, he's and unbeaten. No to the guy, you know, he has an It's unbeaten like, record under submission underground rule set. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, cares, man. The match we want to watch. Oh yeah. So, yeah. No disrespect to the guy, but it's it's just like we all know Craig's gonna fuck him up. Like Kevin wasn't at ADCC. Craig is a fucking silver medal. There's no chance, and it's sub only. All right, no chance. We know who's the winner. Uh, probably via whatever the fuck Craig wants. So yeah. Uh, what's it called? And plus, they had. I'm sure some of them had to travel to do it. So like, I don't know, man. It's a wilderness. So I saw a map wilderness. today uh, of all the flights above the United States. You know, how you can see like the map with all the flights in the world. And yeah. uh, above the United States, there's just so many flights still like going towards LA. Miami, New York, which are all the hotspot right now, obviously. Yeah. Oh, great. And, and Canada was like almost like there's almost no flight uh, right now. Uh, Tabs, do you see like the, the airplanes from like from your house usually? Less. Yeah, I see them. I see them. Yeah, there's less and less, right? I see them. The windows right there. I'm looking at the window where I can see the airplanes right yeah. now. Actually, have you yeah. seen a difference? Yeah, it's a lot more quiet. To be honest, it's definitely a lot more quiet. Yeah, uh, but it's a lot more quiet. But listen, to take it back to what I was saying, I also think yeah. watching wrestling is really good, man. Watching wrestling matches, you know what I and find you know the biggest difference. Up? Like the the biggest difference between like the jujitsu and the wrestling is like how low the wrestlers they stay. You know, because obviously oh, yeah. it's shorter, it's shorter rounds, it's more intense, and they have a break. So like a lot of these things, like they'll faint. They're on their hands. They're on their knees. Yeah. No, we're standing like, nice. You guys are standing like this, you know? Yeah, like slapping <laughs> each other in the head. Yeah. <laughs> Stiff robots. Yeah. Val is like, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> yes. Val pulled, pulled guard like this. Yeah. Um, so, like, it, it's such a difference. And because of the rule set, like, the guys have to engage, right? So they can't be standing upright. They have to. They're always shooting, reshooting, cutting the angles. Yeah. Um, the ref is always in their face. Action blue, action red, action blue, and then boom, penalty. I love it. It never stops in wrestling. It's so cool. I love it. Yeah, I really wish it was like that for jiu-jitsu. We talked about that so many times, like like stalling yeah. cards, right? Like saying, all right, action, or you like you you're losing points, or you get DQ or whatever. Um, yeah. But yeah, watching wrestling is definitely a, a good idea, especially like I was saying. You know what's coming up. For us, most probably the real thing that will be coming up after this is the ADCC trials. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Um, but uh, what's it called? Uh, the um, the thing with the uh, what do you mean? Tra yeah, Charles. I mean, if they don't cancel them. I mean, for us, that's what's going to be maybe coming if everything goes right, right? Because like the trials in North America are in November, and the one you're doing in Moldova, I think they're mm -hmm. in October. Yeah. So hopefully oh, but wait. Covered. The point that I was going to bring up because you were you were saying that we wish we had that in jiu-jitsu, but jiu-jitsu in itself is a sport that's like slower. You're controlling more. Yeah. You're holding people down, and then because wrestling, you take them down, you stand back up. So obviously, there's a lot more. Um, there's a lot more action, but like, how how are you going to change the fact that you're in side control and then you got to set up set up your submission? It's going to take time. It's going to be slower. You know, yeah, obviously, for that instance, yeah, for that instance, I, I, I agree with you. I mean, like in the stand up, you know, like you see ADCC sometimes it gets boring in the finals because like guys, they don't want to shoot. They don't want to engage. Yeah. That's more what I mean in the stand up area. I wish it was a bit more not just like wrestling because it's too aggressive. Right. But like where like you have to work. Yeah. ADCC finals. Obviously, it's not always the most entertaining matches, uh, but I mean, They'd have to make it shorter if they want to really push guys. I mean, yeah. it, it, it comes down to like longer, like 
the matches are so much longer, ADCC finals. You could be going for 30 minutes. It would be 30 minutes, like half an hour. You can't stay low and shoot and, and go, no. go, go, go. So, you know, like guys go in there with already a match. They already have the semifinals in their bodies. They have the second weight cut, the first weight cut, the, the, um, the one the same day they're competing for the finals. So I think it's, it's just the way they set it up that it, it, they set themselves up for slow pace finals. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, like you well, can do the things that, that makes it. Yeah, you can do things to make it like so. All right, you don't need to weigh in the the day of the finals. Like, you, the guy has to like. I remember Craig. He had to wake up, and the guy had freaking pink eye. He had both eyes shut completely. Couldn't sleep because they had to put antibiotics in his eyes. Oh. And then he slept. He slept for like an hour and had to cut weight at five a.m. to like make weight and compete again. Then you face somebody like Dini's in the finals, dude. It's like that must suck, man. You can't push the pace, like it's it's no, it's of hard. course, super hard, super hard. But yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm starting to have like these dreams about jujitsu. I swear, like it's not even a lie. I'll dream about competing, or I'll dream about like I'll I'll be like at Henzo's or very very like realistic dreams that you feel like you're actually training. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you, man. I. I feel the same. Like the other day, I was like pushing weights, you know, and I was just like, you know, it, it's good, it's cool to keep in shape, but really, what I fucking want to do right now, you know, I, 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 I was like thinking of just being able to like grab like a waist lock, a body lock, and like start passing. And I was like, oh, I miss this shit right now. Yeah. What about you, Val? You've been dreaming. Yeah, me too. Like uh, the last training I had, I had such a nice role with uh, one of the. Uh, the Hajj brothers, uh, with Yanis, we like it was a war, oh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, and it's always a fun role and the one to remember, you know. And the other thing, rolling back to, to wrestling, actually, I, I feel like I'm missing in a way, I, I miss out on our wrestling classes, uh, even more because uh, I felt like I started to catch like a little bit of progress. And I was, oh, yeah, uh, like started to pick up things here and there, and uh, the movement started to get a little more traction, and all of this. And now, uh, I guess it's gonna be uh, it's taken away from you, yep. yeah, yeah, man. We could be training right now, we could be having these crazy sessions <laughs> instead of we're all <laughs> no, we could be having some these crazy sessions we're like a couple of kilometers away from each other. You just look at me up right now, and, okay, yeah, look at it. Yeah. The almost good thing about it is like this shit is global. It's not like it's just Montreal that shut down. It's like everywhere in the world right now. Like, yeah, of course there's people here and there training a bit for now, but like, like it's not like okay, you have like a week or two or three of more of training than other people before it shuts down, or like you can't fucking train for multiple reasons. It's not going to change the world. It's just it, it's hard because we're all passionate, like Val said. We're all like extremely passionate about this sport, so. I'm seeing every day so many posts of people like posting about their academy, their roles, and just like, oh, I want to go back. We're all the same in that regard. So yeah, definitely, it's a good sign, man. It's a good sign. People are gonna appreciate it a lot more oh. uh, when they get back, dude. Ah, oh, man. Think about I, the first day in the gym. It's gonna be. I mean, listen, I experienced something similar to like I always make the same re reference, like after That's ACL, true. post stop. Dude, it's like the happiest day of your life when you go back to training. You know what I mean? Yeah, for, 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 for the guys who had injuries, and I had injury, I'm sure, Val, you had your fear of. Taza had the, a nasty one, being mm. almost a year layoff. But, you know, like for people that have injuries, this is not an uncharted uh, territory because we kind of had to take time off before. But it's just now we're healthy. So you're like... That's the main difference. You know you could train right now, but you can't. It's that tough. first day, I'm telling you, man, it's going to feel good. Dude, lack of virgin. Touch for the virgin. This time. <laughs> <laughs> that should be our new intro. Just have <laughs> like a virgin. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Or that could be the end of the podcast. You just play that song slowly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Dark we got it. My friend. Yeah. And, oh uh, man, 
For sure, for sure. It's going to be good. And then, like, I'm excited. Like, right now, just thinking about drilling a triangle, like 100 triangles, I'm excited. You know what I mean? Uh, I, for sure, at first, when I start training, it's going to be, like, if I'm with another person, whoever it is, it's most likely going to be PO. Like, drilling stuff is going to be, like, amazing. Like, oh, my God, we're drilling again. That's sick. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah, I've I've seen it in my head already, like countless times. I'm excited to to be able to do that for sure. It's gonna come, man. Just gonna be a bit bit more patient and uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely, man, absolutely. I mean, listen, we're if you guys are keeping up with the podcast, if you guys are still listening to this right now, uh, we've been doing like breakdowns. You guys can keep up with that. There are matches available. They're gonna be a lot more available. I'm sitting home. I'm gonna be doing breakdowns. I'm basically a YouTuber now. Yeah professional youtuber switching uh <laughs> switching careers that and uh and the muay thai fighter in the park <laughs> if you catch yeah, muay thai fight. catch taz in the park be, ab- be aware of not catching these hands yeah. keep two oh, meters. Oh, these tablets. <laughs> you need to keep two meters uh apart from him for sure <laughs> youtube What is it, you Val? What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Social distancing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. You know what I'm doing? I'm going in the park and like I'm going downstairs, down in the corner, and there's like a little place close to the water. Like it's still frozen, but there's like this little branch, and I box. It's like my punching bag, and then it's always there because you can't. Whatever works, punch, man. You can't punch through a branch. You're just gonna punch the air. So you like you work on precision. So listen, man. Finding a way. Just gotta. Just gotta be active, doing things that are like fun. I don't know. I like. I enjoy it, man. It's uh, yeah. It's getting, getting, getting like. I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm. Get, I'm a lot sharper than a week ago. Like boxing, even like kicking, and sure. like, I didn't kick that much. Like just three weeks. Comes back, man. And then you start. You know what? What's fun actually about it is like now when I, when I, uh, when I'm remembering a bit like all the things I used to do when I box, and then like I can. I can link it up a bit with wrestling. You know what I mean? Because we did wrestling. Like we distance, wrestled. Did. Distance management. Yeah, we did like, you know, ADCC camp. So we wrestled a lot. So what's it called? Wrestling now with boxing. So it's like, I don't know. It's starting to, it's a good overall like uh, set of skills that you could use for mixed martial arts. So it's pretty cool. Sure. Val, There. make sure to uh, to title this, uh, uh, this YouTube video, uh, Taza Switch Career for... Taza goes from jiu-jitsu to striker or something no, like no. that. Taza went from jiu-jitsu to nunchucks to biker and YouTuber. then to YouTuber. And on the same episode, he switched back to a mixed martial artist. <laughs> <laughs> a man of, uh, of multiple talents. Many <laughs> skills. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Funny it's stuff. Been, it's been... It's been good catching up with you guys because uh, last time we talked was with Aguzi. Actually, it's been almost almost a week. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's it's. Uh, I thought I wouldn't have much to say, but I mean, there's always there's always things going on in your mind, even when you're doing nothing. And I don't know. It's, oh yeah, it's good to chat about it. Listen, I'm seeing like you see a lot of like people spending family time because you know they're quarantined home with their families. Like I'm seeing a lot of. People like move back in here. I'm seeing a lot of people walking around the park outside with like their. You never see that. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I mean, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Seems like a good thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like Val is definitely showing that's a, it's a good thing. I guess it depends on the families, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. it can definitely be a good thing for sure. Uh, like having to connect in a different way because we're used to always be on the go, always be connected to like other people on the go and, and, and make, making our stuff happen. And now everything slows down suddenly and you're like, Oh, I got, now I have time to like text people that I usually don't necessarily think about. And I'm like, Oh, how are you guys doing? Like, and, and calling people that I don't call usually. And I think it's a good thing if it's done right. Definitely. Uh, yeah. How's the weight, Val? You 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 seem to have slowed down on the on the gains. Am I uh, yeah, am I right? I'm sure it should be staying stable. You know, you're, uh, flattening the curve. You he's, know, he's flattening the curve. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, flattening the growth. Yeah. You're still going in on the Humpty Dumpty bags of chips, Val, or what? Of course, yeah. yeah going in, I, watching stuff. Tiger King. <laughs> 
Did you guys watch it? No, no. Uh, I've seen the. No. no. Come on. <laughs> Is it good? Guys, you have. Yeah, I did. I did. I I went through it in like uh, three nights. And Wait, what's all, night? So it's a it's a limited series on Netflix, and it's about uh, a guy that's running a tiger zoo and other people that are running tiger zoo. But I true like you guys have to watch it. It's uh, it's that kind of documentary that it the guy didn't have to tell the story of the people they they did it themselves because they're so crazy it's insane it, it has to be watched it's good entertainment oh, and it's like after every episode you'll be like i gotta watch another one it's oh shit oh shit no, I, I i'm can... telling you you guys get on that if you can it's hilarious too. all right Taza, you're i'm gonna, gonna put my you. i'm gonna put my youtube uh youtuber career on hold and, and give this a shot then watch Tiger King for sure. like all the memes you guys have been seeing i'm sure they're all worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's what it's about all the tiger stuff that i'm saying yeah, exactly. It's all about that because, like, uh, it, it became like extremely popular because it was released jur- like last week, probably. Damn. Dude, so I like on it, and uh, so you get reviews pretty fast, and it is actually insane. I have to admit, man, things online are doing really good right now. You know what I mean? For sure. I've been, bro, I've been getting like so much good feedback from the instructional that I had. It's like, I, and it was released way before the quarantine. I mean, it's also available for free right now so i gotta take that into yeah, consideration sure. but i mean people are releasing dvds people are releasing this or doing that so it's a good time i guess to be online right uh, the model for camp dvd has been released in relief right yeah, yeah yeah they released the uh they released on bjj fanatics the just type modolfo and then it'll come up it's a dvd it's got uh roles like you you can see gordon going with jt <laughs> JT going with me, JT rolling with um, Ethan, and ev- cheesy guard slicing through that. I mean, listen, JT passed my guard, so like I can't really, I can't really make fun of Ethan's Swiss cheese melted guard, but I can make fun <laughs> for him for the wrist lock. Look at the flick of the wrist. Whoop, look at that. And then, like, so today I was, I don't know, man, it's just, it's just something about that wrist lock that happened at the right time before the quarantine. I don't know if I'd be able to go through these dark times without that wrist lock win. You just have to remind yourself every time. And then I just fine. rewatch. But First yeah. thing in the morning, I open my eyes, I rewatch it like, oh, all right, I'm gonna, <laughs> I can go through it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just to make you like good mood every, every morning. Just, just to get me out of bed. Just to get yeah. me out of bed. Oh, but yeah, man. the DVD is, is out. Like uh, I saw a couple of the footage already, and it's it's so sick. So if you guys want to like want to see the highest level role, it's basically ADCC, but in in a DVD. So basically, what you're seeing, and and I think there's some good techniques out there too from Henry Seudo, gold yeah. medalist in wrestling. Henry so. Seudo's dropping some uh, knowledge bombs, and again, like just the roles are insane go check it out see who gave gordon a hard time or if anybody gave him a hard time go see it for yourself craig's on it too uh jt i believe Rutolos. Kainan, i'm not sure rotolos tolos good training no, Kainan wasn't on uh i believe gordon was saying he was gonna talk about it probably talk shit about it but or maybe uh, not but uh, it, was, it was probably a choice of Kainan to not be on uh to not have his uh, his training uh, routine and roles I'm I'm surprised it happened with Kanan because he, he seemed cool with it at the camp. It's like he knew and he seemed cool with it at the camp. And Kanan is literally the coolest guy that I've ever met. Uh, so it's you know, kind of it might, comes, be, it kind it of might comes be an to, advice from someone else, you know? Yeah, I think it could be coming from some other egotistical maniac that's talking to Kanan and putting ideas in his head. Who knows, yeah. Because... Yeah, I don't know, because the guy was there, he was super cool, he's chill. The The camp itself was super nice, it was a great vibe, so you guys can definitely go check it out, some good footage for y'all. Yeah, maybe um, we can make it up, because I, I know uh, the, um, the DVD is helping all the athletes, like you, Ethan, so all the guys right now, so if you're, if you're, I have no share in it, so I'm, I'm promoting it just because I think it's really nice, like especially during that time, it's a good way to to help out the athletes and have like good stuff. Yeah. Like, uh, obviously it's not just like, you can analyze like unlimited footage of like Gordon best in the world, JT best in the world, 
like Taza, if you guys like his game, like Ethan, all the guys, you know. So it's it's good to see a clash of styles in oh, a training. For sure. Oh, for sure, for sure, it was great. Yeah. Um, also, feedback. I, I just realized how much like feed. Listen, like sometimes time is good. You know what I mean. Having time to stop and think is good. A lot of things for me. Um, I feel like I was on the verge of getting my shit together, you know, like finding a place in New York, getting myself a visa, you know, moving permanently to New York and living there. That's put on hold, but it's giving me time to do a couple of things here and there, you know, uh, put think things about, in place, yeah. think about, or like, you know, make that step a little bit more prepared. So it's a bit of a positive for me. Imagine you would have signed something in New York right now. Oh, <laughs> stuck there. Oh, oh, man. oh man, yeah, dude, that. Oh uh, no, no. So, so yeah. sometimes I, I feel like like we're uh, our generation, or a lot of people are un not impatient in the and like for a lot of stuff. And now it's like everybody has to slow down. Like I said, so you got to be patient a bit. And like like you said, there's so many things you can think about and like work on. Like if you're injured right now, it's like like take it as a like like a blessing in disguise, right? You can work on your physio or just like. Like come back better. Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent, man. There's a there's a plus somewhere in all these uh, in all these uh, lonely be. days. Yeah, yeah, there has to be. There has to be, boys. Val, yeah. Valeria, where are you saying, man? <laughs> I think it's a good uh, place to wrap it on a positive note. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. I, I think, think we could wrap it for, for almost an hour now. And <laughs> Val, what do you think? Wrap it. <laughs> Wrap it up, boys. Val, I, That's the thing I how much do you weigh right now? What's your weight like? I'm not sure. I've never stepped on the scales. Let me let me check. Let me do the conversion. I'm waking up at, uh, let me tell you, 84 kilos. Holy 84. shit. Oh, my God. 185? 185. I'm waking up 185. And, like, I'm not eating like a pig. I'm just 185, I guess, right now. That's how much I weigh. I've been waking up at like around 177, so a bit bigger than my usual, but like in a good way, you know. It's, I feel I feel strong, fit. Um, I could definitely lose a bit of weight, but I'm enjoying too. I've been like I, I was saying, I've been cooking so much food, man. Um, that's one skill I'm getting better at, because uh, because usually I cook, I'm like I have to do it, you know, just for eating, just to recover. Now I have the yeah. time to actually. <laughs> Hey man, your cooking skills better be on point. So when you come and crash at my place in New York, man, you're gonna be making, you're gonna be my sexy housewife. Bro, remember, remember. The I'll bring you a sweet dress for you, Taz. Yeah, wear wear something nice and red. I like red. Red, something. All right. Red. <laughs> All right. Get you a red pair of nice. leggings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lipstick, maybe. <laughs> oh, uh, right All right, let's do uh, right. let's do that support section. Support section, guys. So, the, what's the support section? The support section is, guys, if you're new, this is your first podcast, please make sure to um, subscribe. Make sure to also click on that bell, that notification bell, so we let you know when we have new videos. Whether it's a podcast, whether it's a breakdown, whether it's us showing you something that could have a positive impact to you, make sure to click that. Let us know in the comment section what you like, what you don't like, what you wanna see, what you wanna hear about. It helps us a lot. And let your buddies know. Subscribe. That's the if you guys want to help, that's the best way to help. And we really appreciate the support. Next, we got Scramble. Go ahead, Theo. Take it from there. All right, Scramble, Scramble Canada. We're running the store. Obviously, the store is closed now, but guess what? Online it's working. So uh you guys can uh if you need some gear or Tazo, you can show you have a t-shirt right now. This is Scramble is not only jujitsu, uh, but it's apparel, like streetwear, like looks yeah. really nice very uh durable so if you guys want to look at what we have the uh the inventory is online at scramble canada uh the link's going to be as usual in the in the bio or 
in the footnotes or whatever you call it. <laughs> Guys, um, there's also a uh, start interrupt. There's also a uh, <clears throat> promotion going on right now. You know, uh, sweatpants, joggers, hoodies. They're on. Uh, they're on sale. You guys want to stay home. You want to stay comfy. Commando with a pair of sweatpants on. There's nothing like it. Um, and guess what? These clothes will last you even post quarantine. So uh, if you guys need some comfy clothes that will last you long, they got good style. Go check out scramblestuff.com.ca. Uh, you guys can use Leclerc. What's your what's your uh, promo code again? Uh, P.O. Leclerc. P.O. Leclerc. Support. Give them some money. Save yourself some money as well. Next yeah. up, what we got? Val, Mizu Studio. Tell us about it. Yeah, the Mizu Studio is uh, the emptiest and cleanest gym uh, available during the currency. <laughs> when we come back we're gonna come back strong i have um uh, actually instead of uh, uh talking about me uh, i'm gonna talk a little about our students uh, i have a bunch of students uh, reach out and offer help and support uh, offer keep on paying the dues and everything uh, which uh, I'm in comfortable position of having an IT job, so uh, luckily for us, we don't need this. And uh, I suggest if you have, uh, you still keep your job, you have expandable income, probably it's the time to definitely think about charity and uh, donating to people who really need it. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah, man. man. So there, there you go, guys. Mizu Studio right there, the man behind it, the cleanest gym, yeah. family-run business with the goal to you know bring the people of montreal together and take the the local scene to the next level um you know we next got up, we, we have got... uh physio Mentum. obviously the guys are on hold a bit right now because uh they're treating they're still treating the patient that i have like a big emergency or like uh, that need the care right now but it's uh obviously like other businesses on hold but they have uh they they started a online service i i believe uh that you can get consultation uh for like per 30 minute or something like that which is pretty cool so check them out if uh if you if you need uh they're the best physio in montreal and now that they have an online services you can have them pretty much everywhere right so if you if you're in pain if something happened it's a time to check what's up and uh they'll be we'll be right back there soon yeah um also for for physio Mentum, they're doing they're doing uh sessions uh online you can skype basically what we're doing you can do that uh from the comfort of your home you guys can just you know uh go on physio Mentum, hit them up send them a message and uh they'll, they'll get back to you and you guys can set up a uh, what's it called an appointment if there's something really severe that you need to get uh taken care of asap and speaking of which also guys um the this also uh, goes to say we I, I did a lot of online privates also during ACL surgery. And if you're home and you have an UK and you have mats, uh, myself, I'm sure PO as well, available for yep. online privates. If you guys you know are watching the instructionals um, and you have any questions, there are things you're not too sure about, you can always reach out, uh, schedule a call, and then we'll figure it out. And uh, make sure you know you guys are implementing new skills. We can give you some pointers because uh, we got a bunch of time. And, yeah, hit us uh, up. Also, yeah, for sure. I'll mention also, guys, there's a giveaway. My instructional, the first one that I did with Stephen Kesting, has pretty much everything you need to know if you're a beginner getting started or if you're a brown black belt competing at the high level. There's something for everybody in there. Make sure to email support at grapplearts.com. Email them. Tell them, guys, I want the Oliver Taza Nogi heel hook uh, DVD. Get it. Let me know what you think. And uh, again, schedule an appointment if you need any help with it. Uh, who am I forgetting? Roll forever. Last Big but not sponsor, least. Betty. How, Go how ahead. could we forget her? Yeah, Betty. Uh, we miss you. Thank you for everything. And uh, man, we're probably going to be, um, when, if we link up, going to be doing some online classes. So more to come on that. Nothing to uh, set Nothing yet. official. But thinking about it. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, yeah, big thanks to Betty. She's trying to help us out uh, during uh, this crisis time. And she's working hard too. So Roll Forever, the website is going to be available very soon too. Uh, we're just waiting for everything to chill down uh, yeah. right now. So, But you'll be able to catch us on it. Like, uh, like uh, Taza mentioned, online privates. That's part of what we want to do now with it. Um, and uh, 
I think last year I was about to say, uh, have we set up the Patreon? Uh, um, we have the page. Well, we have the page. It's a start. So we'll, this week we'll set it up. We'll check that. So if you guys want to support and like what, what we're doing and you're subscribing, that's always an option too. Um, and uh, we have to talk all together about what we're doing with it. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to come. It's going to be online pretty soon. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna give the people what they want with that money, guys. We're just gonna with that money, Absolutely. what we're doing, we're just gonna reach more, impact more, do better, go further. Thanks to you guys, so it's, it's we really appreciate it. Yeah. All right, so Taza Val, thank you for uh, tuning in too, and uh, nice to chatting with you guys. Yeah. It Thanks was a lot. Yeah, Valerio, Yo, nice talking to you guys, and we'll yeah. talk soon. Yeah.